All right. Rockford T1500 BDCP. We're going to try it. 0.8 dynamic power. What's up guys, BD Wiz here. Today we're gonna continue the test of the amplifiers you see here in front of us. Most of them have already been tested. Check the video description. But today we're gonna look at the Rockford Fosgate T1500-1 BDCP. And you might ask yourself, or me, what is CP technology, Big D? Well, you guys have to go to rockfordfosgate.com and find out, but basically it's a patented circuit topology provides instantaneous delivery of output power very impedance loads here's a typical example of how you'll see ratings with amplifiers 4 ohms 500 watts 2 ohms 1000 watts 1 ohm 2000 watts the rock for fosgate is a little different before we get into that though let's get into the dimensions approximately 15 inches or 38 centimeters long by 8.14 or 20.68 centimeters wide by 2.14 or 5.42 centimeters tall. Now this is the top of the line series from Rockford, the power series. It's not very cheap at $799 suggested retail, but I did find they had some refurbished ones for 450 bucks on Sound of Tri-State. They're an authorized reseller, so you can check the video description to see if they still have some available. Here are some of the specifications. You can check video description, go to rockfordfilesgate.com to give you all the details here. I'm not gonna go over them individually. Now let's check the inputs and outputs. First off, you'll see here, four gauge power and ground, as well as a remote terminal for your remote turn on. It's very important to have a remote turn on. We have RCA inputs and outputs. You can pass the signal on to a different amplifier, keep the signal chain and going. Then we have some additional things here. We have an infrasonic filter. We have a punch EQ with a variable frequency and also a gain control. We talk about not using bass boost, but that's when you don't have a variable frequency. So this is very useful. We'll move on down the amp a little bit more. We have the remote bass connection. Does not come with that. Shame on Rockford for $800 amp. It does not come with that. Then we have eight gauge speaker outputs. There are two outputs, but this is a monoblock amplifier. Just simplifies wiring to have two different outputs. You can see the screw down terminals here are Phillips head. So you don't have to go steal Allen's key because he don't always like you to take his key. Here's the protect thermal and power lights, the LEDs that are on the top left of the amp. And you can see the look of the amp. I really like the design of these. They've been around since about 2010. Very slick looking design. So let's fire up the dyno. Guys, check the video description below if you'd like to get an old school stereo t-shirt. Help support my channel. These designs are really cool. I'm going to keep adding new stuff. I've got towels as well. Pimping at the beach with old school. All right, amplifier is wired up and fired up. Let's try it at 4 ohms, 1% THD, 40 hertz. It's rated 1,000 watts, CEA certified. Oh, yes, 1,051. 14.26, 90.5 amps. Notice the current will count up just a little bit more. We talked about that before. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Big D's talking about. So let's check out the efficiency. Check this out, read it and weep. 81.4% efficient at four ohms. That's the way to do it. Now let's try two ohms, 1% THD at 40 Hertz. It's rated 1500 Watts. We got 1600 and 26 watts and again check out the current there it climbed up a little bit more so we're going to show you what the real number is yeah boy yeah boy check this out 81 percent efficient at two ohms all right now let's try it at one ohm certified one percent thd 40 hertz it's rated 1500 watts and we got 1807 13.83, so well over the rated, over 300 watts over the rated power. But notice it's not that far off from the two ohms and it has something to do with the constant power we talked about earlier. Here is the efficiency, 64.5%, quite a bit less efficient than two ohms. Now we're gonna try it up to clipping at 40 hertz. 
This is going to take us to the sine wave clips, uncertified mode on the dyno. Check out this power, 2,235 watts at clipping. But look at the current, woo, watch it keep counting up. Do you see that? So we got 270, I think, 272 was the number for the current. And I'll show it here because I captured it. 59% efficient at clipping, so yeah. Now let's try the dynamic power at one ohm. Rockford amps have always been known for their massive dynamic power. Let's see if this one's any less impressive than any of the others. And here you go. No, it's not. Check out what Doc has to say. To generate 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Almost 3,300 watts from a 1,500 watt amp. Now that's what I'm talking about. All right, now it's time to flip the amplifier over. Take out these four screws here and point them out for you. We're gonna take these out using the Torx T10 screwdriver. Here's what they look like. And yes, my friends, if you haven't picked up the screwdriver kit yet, get you one of these. This is a perfect reason to have one. Let's take those four screws out. The magnetic tip makes it really easy to grab that little tip of that screw. You see that? Yep, that's right, it doesn't drop. You flip the amp back over, and then we're going to open it up. Check out the guts of the T1500-1 BDCP. Oh yes. 160 volt, 1500 microfarad on the rails. Nice big juicy caps there for feeding the outputs. We have some input filtering as well. Nice big beefy transformer. Have a choke over here. We have the LED lights. You can see where they are there. You can see the MOSFETs lined up at the back. And lots of thermal paste on this. Keep it nice and cool. There's some goop inside as well. I love the way Rockford puts the avatars here of the engineers who designed the amplifiers. You can see their different avatars here on their site. It's pretty slick. All right, friends, here we'll show you all the test results. You can see the biggest thing here to notice is the two ohm and one ohm tests are pretty close. And again, that's that constant technology, constant power technology, the CP part of the BDCP. You may ask yourself, well, what's that really mean in real world terms? Well, for example, a normal amp like a 2000 watt amp like this one, one ohm, 2249 watts at two ohms, 1414 watts. So the impedance rise is going to affect an amp like this more than the Rockford. Let's talk about the positives. Constant power technology, we've already talked about that a lot. The rated power plus some, oh yes, nicely underrated. Pass through RCAs, thick and heavy heat sink. All connections are on one side for ease of installation. Quality components. SQ for class D is very good. And the efficiency at four ohms and two ohms is outstanding. The negatives, yeah, it's expensive, $800 MSRP. The RCA jacks are not Tiffany style, not a big fan of that. Remote bass knob not included on an $800 amp. Come on, Rockford. Infrasonic filter is not adjustable and they're not strappable, but you can use two on two different subs. Just gain match them and you'll be fine. Now, I've tested most of the amps here. I've tested four out of the five. And I did talk about some in-car testing, which I'm going to get to. Just need you guys to hang around with me. Lots of stuff going on. Lots of fun things happening. Make sure you check me out, patreon.com slash old school stereo. It's Big D Wiz. Until next time, I'm out of here. All right. Rockford T1500 BDCP. We're going to try it. 0.8 dynamic power. Here we go. No fire, no smoke, please. Let's roll. Thirty-three fifty-two. Yes, no smoke. No smoke. No fire. No fire. No nothing. No thermal. She still works. No nothing. Is this your last one?